Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a first impression and lip swatch video of the new Maybelline Ulta Matte Slim Lipsticks. You guys, I'm so excited for this. I've been wanting to get my hands on these for a while. I went to my local store and the stand was completely sold out. So I guess these are a hit. And so I had to order online to Ulta and they came here yesterday. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you, and if you're a returning uh, viewer, thank you all so much for coming back and enjoying my, my videos. And also, be sure to hit that notification bell down below so that, so that you're notified every time I upload a video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So what I'm going to do is go to the Maybelline website just to see what they say about these products. Um, so I have six out of the ten shades. I only picked out shades that I thought that I would wear and would look good against my skin tone. And about this product, it says that these are the ultimate slim lipstick that delivers more intense color with an extreme matte finish. But it claims that it's comfortable and lightweight. The, the word extreme matte, those two words kind of scared me a little bit because extreme matte, what does that mean? But um, it says more is more. That's more matte, more color intensity, and a lightweight feel. Um, it doesn't say whether or not these are long lasting. It just says um, that these are a non drying formula that's going to give you more color payoff, more matte, more intensity. So yeah, I'm here for the intensity. Let's go ahead and get into the lip swatches. I will have all the shades that I'm swatching uh, listed down below as well as a link of where you can go to purchase those lipsticks. So I'm going to try to start with the the lightest and I will be doing a wear test just so you guys can see how they wear throughout the day. I love to do wear tests if you're not familiar with my first impressions and lip swatch videos. So which one do I think is the lightest? <laughs> um, we're going to start with this one and I'll show you all the packaging of this first one. Alright so here this is the packaging. Look at this. It's very pretty. I love how they have the ombre look I just think it's super cute these do the product feels lightweight and like this and as you can see it's just a circle lip product so yeah we're gonna start with this one. so we're zoomed in close enough I believe I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching all right and once again this is $4.99 more blush All right, and this is more blush. Very pretty. A nice kind of like bright pink. All right, next we have $5.99 more mauve. I really like this one. This is nice. If you guys notice the lighting changing, I do have my ring light on, but I'm also I'm in front of my window and the sun keeps moving back and forth. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the nudes. The nude one. And this one is in the shade 799 More Taupe. Excited for this. Yes, this is a perfect everyday color. Oh yeah, I love more taupe. This is the perfect everyday nude. Mm, gorgeous, love it. So we're going to go into like a red one. This one is called $8.99 More Rust. So I guess it's like a rusty red. This looks pretty. Ooh, I love that. I know I should have rolled that down. Darn it. Okay, we're fine. We're going to keep it going.
Hmm. You guys, I love this. I feel like this will be beautiful on a like nice, bright, warm, sunny day. This is gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. I'm feeling a little feisty with this. I love it. Tell me guys what you think down below. All right, y'all. We only got two more shades. My lips, ooh, they are getting a little irritated. Well, not irritated in the sense like irritated, but they're getting sore from wiping. So I have two more shades. The next one we're going to try. All right, we're going to try out more berry next. And this is like a wine type of shade. Oop, right up my alley. Love this. Let me roll this down a little bit so that this one doesn't break. All right, this is more berry. I will say about this one, this one's not going on as intense. It, it's kind of going on patchy and you may be able to see in the video that it doesn't look even all the way. It's very patchy a little but um, nonetheless it is a gorgeous color. I love it. You guys know I love this type of color. It's my type of color like it's me but it's definitely patchy. I feel like it looks better now that I rubbed it in but yeah more berry 099 more berry all right and more berry was a little difficult to get off but we are on the last one and the last one is 999 more truffle and this looks like a chocolate color which i'm very excited about oh yes look at that that is gorgeous All right, this is more truffle. This is definitely one of my favorite colors. I will say that from the packaging, I thought it was gonna be more chocolate from um, than what it's appearing on my lips. But nonetheless, it is a very gorgeous color and I love the shade of brown. I don't think I have this color shade of brown in my lipstick collection at all. So that's good, y'all. Mmm. All right, so that's it for the lip swatches. I will say that these did apply very well. The only one that I had an issue with was the More Berry. That one applied, it was a little harder to apply and it applied a bit blotchy. It wasn't even like the rest. And I guess that's because it's the darkest shade out of the bunch. I believe it's the darkest shade, <laughs> but it's the darkest that I tried out. But all the rest applied very evenly and opaque. There was no blotchiness. I will say that these are more matte, but they're not like drying down where they won't transfer. You definitely will get a transfer. They're not kiss proof. They're not mask proof as of right now. Yeah. So right now what I'm going to do is a wear test. It is the afternoon. So right now it is 1235. And I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day until I take off my makeup. And I may come in and do um like midday reviews letting you know how it's lasting i don't think that this is going to be a long wear lip product i think you'll have color on your lips for the full day but is, is it going to look like this the whole day i don't think so because like i said it's not kiss proof so i don't have any helps for that and they don't state that on the website as well they just tell you that they're giving you more intensity more color more matte and these are they're not very matte, but they're like a comfortable matte, like they say. It's not drying at all. But I love it. It's it's a gorgeous color. It looks very intense. It looks like a high-end lip product other than that dark one. So, yeah. Um, comment down below if you tried these. I'll be back with an update to update y'all on my lip products. So, stay tuned. Oh, no. Quick hey, update. Hold on. Up. Turn down my son's tablet. Quick update on my phone. It's. 145. You guys see, I still have lipstick on. I'm eating a wrap for lunch. Look, mm hmm. Yeah, it transfers, y'all. Look, I'm eating my lipstick, it's on my plates. <laughs> So yeah, it's definitely not going to last, but it is on my lips, but I'm eating my lipstick. It's on my plate. It's on my chin. So if you don't mind that, <laughs> then I say still get it. But these are some beautiful lipsticks nonetheless. And they did not say that they're long lasting, by the way. 
Hi guys, so I'm back and yes, it's still daylight. It is now 2.13. So I'm back in less than two hours and I wanted to give y'all my final update on this lipstick. Y'all would have seen that I updated y'all um, during my lunch and I just finished and reapplied my lipstick again and it looks like new again but in that post you, in that clip you saw I had lipstick all down here in my plate on my wrap it was like completely wiped off in the middle sort of and it was like around the edges so this is not a long wearing lipstick and they don't say that they are they just say that it's more matte I just like to do my wear test to let you all know how the the product lasts but all they do is say that it's more matte M more color intensity and I do agree that these colors are more intense um all the colors except for the more berry it wasn't as intense or it didn't apply like I would have liked it like I said earlier in the video these are very pretty just know that you're not going to be able to wear this with your mask um that it may transfer on your food so blot your lips maybe so that it doesn't transfer as much but these are are gorgeous I love the packaging um, I feel like it'll be a product that you can get through and actually use up and not go to waste. Yeah, the packaging is just gorgeous. Something slim, easy to carry and take with you. I love it. I love the concept. <clears throat> and I think they're great other than the fact that they're not long wear lipsticks. So if you guys have tried these, comment down below what your thoughts are. Um, let me know which shade was your favorite on me or what shade you would like to try out for yourself but yeah thank you all so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video also leave a comment down below if you would like to see more lip swatch videos what are some new items out that you would like me to do a lip swatch video for because i really enjoy doing them if you guys can't tell um make sure you're subscribed hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a video and i love you guys and i'll see y'all on my next one bye